Lee, let's go ahead and uh, throw it over to Cynthia Wayan, who is in Sunspot, New Mexico, and uh, she has a pretty good view of the eclipse herself. Cynthia. We sure do, Ray, and as you can see, a big crowd on hand to check out this eclipse. The eclipse will begin a little later when it comes into its full coverage here, but nonetheless, people are fully prepared for it, and we've had to kind of play games with the weather. It's been kind of touch and go here. The clouds keep coming and going. At this point, we are rather lucky to have a clear view. I want to take a look at the laboratory where the scientists are right now. They're up in the Vacu Tower telescope. You can take a look at that. You can also see an image of the eclipse that is being uh, transmitted right up on top of that of the uh, tower there. Uh, most people though here are choosing to use their own telescopes, their own cameras, getting their own view of this entire eclipse. They've chosen this place in Sunspot, New Mexico, which is just east of Alamogordo to try and see the eclipse in its best view. And it's also become quite a family affair. Joining me now is a family that's come all the way from San Francisco. This is Eva Lynn uh, Liebwood. Uh, pronounce your last name for me again. Liebman. Liebman. And you've brought your family here. You've yes, made this a vacation. Can you that's tell it. us about it? We're from San Francisco and we came to see the eclipse and Carlsbad Caverns and whatever else the Southwest has to offer us this week. All right. You're a regular, you tell me. This isn't your first eclipse. Right. We were in uh, Cabo San Lucas for the 91 in July and then in San Diego for the 92 annular eclipse. So this is our second annular and we'll go in November to uh, South America for the other total eclipse. Okay, you're also hiding one of the youngest viewers we've seen out here. Your daughter's only two and a half years old? Three and, Three and, half. and a half. Three and a half, okay. And does she understand at all what's going on? Do you understand what's going on, sweetie? Uh-huh. What what's happening? happening? There's an eclipse. Yeah, what happens when there's an eclipse? What covers what? The moon covers the sun. And what, that's right, can you look at the sun with your naked eye or do you have to wear something special? It's your turn to take a picture. Special glasses, that's right. Are you going to take your pictures now? It's time. <laughs> there you go. You can do another one and count to five. No All count. Right. She's, she's getting shy on us. She's doing the long exposure. All right. Tell me what's the appeal of coming to an eclipse. What is it? I don't know. It's just, um, it's just a great phenomenon. It's just fabulous. It's very exciting and kind of eerie and it gives you it makes you realize that uh, humanity has very little power over nature Alrighty, we thank you very much thank we'll you. let you get back so you can see the eclipse okay we're also going to take a look at a picture that is being transmitted across TV screens throughout the uh, solar observatory today and that is being taken from one of the telescopes here on this property you can take a look at that and a close-up image of the Sun as the eclipse happens a beautiful occurrence, the occurrence of a lifetime as the moon reaches approximately 88% coverage of the sun here at Dr. Green Elementary. A ripple of cheers going up through all the assembled students. We have staff members, we have parents watching their children, everyone with their Mylar glasses and their indirect viewing boxes. This is certainly an occasion. All the media has turned out to what is being called Eclipse Central here on the west side off Buckley. Certainly an occurrence. We're just so excited. The sun is casting eerie shadows as it's almost completely covered now by the moon as it comes between it and the earth. I'm talking here this morning with uh, Faye Hollinger. Come on over, Faye. She is the assistant principal here at Dr. Green Elementary. She is joined by her son, John Hollinger. Come on over, John. And another student, Eric Smith. Now, they've been enjoying this excitement all morning. Tell me, how dangerous is it to have all of these kids out here all at once? Well, it could be dangerous if the students did not have their Mylar glasses or if they were not looking through their projection boxes. Mm -hmm. To cover ourselves, we did have all students have parent permission. Those that were using the Eclipse glasses had to have their parent accompany them, mm -hmm. and both students and parents had to go oh. through training. So you did well, good. Well, good job. Good job. Tell me, I heard you cheer right when the moon almost appeared to go all the way over the sun. What were you thinking? Well, I was just excited because this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. And you know, it may be the last, too, huh? Are you getting it on tape? Mm hmm and this looks like a science experiment here, Eric. What is this? This is a pinhole box. It, uh, we made it. There's foil on a little square with a pinhole in it. Uh -huh. And it projects from the, the sun onto a white piece of paper. And we get to see it happening without uh, damaging our eyes. 
or, or seriously going blind. Sounds like you learned your lessons well. You're not looking at the eclipse through those Oakleys, right? <laughs> no way. <laughs> eclipse Central here at Dr. Green Elementary School on the west side. There will be all kinds of activities taking place here throughout the day. Of course, everyone is really excited not only about the eclipse, but about all the cameras that are out here. Ray and Joe. All right, thank you, Talia. As you can see, uh, that uh, everyone is excited, and uh, we just uh, had a picture of the total, uh, the totality, actually, the maximum coverage mm -hmm. that uh, we were talking about. It is happening right now. It'll stay that way for about five minutes and forty seconds. Again, even if it looks safe to view with the naked eye, please do not do Don't so. Don't do it. No. Make okay. sure you're wearing your mylar glasses right here. Talia and I had hers on when she was looking up at the uh, sun. It's very important that you do not repeat. Do not look at the sun without the mylar glasses, or please just continue to watch News Channel 9. And you are watching History in the Making. Again, you will not see anything like this until the year 2017, and that won't even be here in El Paso. No, that won't. The next one here is 2165. Absolutely. So enjoy it, and I hope you have your VCRs rolling so you can show your grandchildren uh, what happened on this date here in 1994. <laughs> Another perspective of the uh, eclipse today, of course, uh, from New Mexico, from Sunspot, New Mexico, the giant telescope there, and Cynthia Wayan is there with more. Cynthia? Oh, uh, Ray, Ray just missed it. A big crowd of booing here for the last minute as the, the clouds moved over on top of the eclipse. Just as the moon had moved across over to the sun, out came the clouds. But nonetheless, this crowd did get a, a chance to see it very quickly before the clouds did cross over. And as I told you before, this has become quite the family affair. And people from all over the country have come here to check out the eclipse. And joining me now is Paul Cooper, who has brought, as you can see, a tremendous telescope here to get a full view of it. Can you tell me, Mr. Cooper, you know, why? Is this your, your first time out here or what? Uh, yes, ma'am. I've seen them before, but usually local and Oceanside. We had one on the horizon, and then we had one a couple, several year, well, a couple years earlier and it wasn't a total there, it was a partial, but this is my first total of anything. Okay, what have you thought so far? It is really neat, really neat. I mean, you have a telescope and a camera with it to take the pictures that you want, and uh, through the clouds or however you see it, you know, and you come out with hopefully good results.